Tian Zhang, uh, who is a postdoctoral fellow at the University of uh, Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. He received his PhD in urban engineering from the University of Tokyo, Japan. His research focuses on the consumption-based greenhouse gas accounting and uh, uh, policy-oriented modeling of uh, other environmental pressures on urban systems. to be here. So today my talk is that the the kind of circuit economy experience in Japan. And basically I just want to bring the introduction thank you for the present And so I started in the University of Tokyo Department of Urban Engineering. In our department we have to devotion wise for the like urban and urban design. We also have the urban environmental engineering. Uh, I used to uh, study and work in the urban resource management lab for yeah, six years in total. Uh, so my supervisor, Yuji Moriguchi, and he is kind of the leader in the uh, urban mechanism study and the flow analysis study uh, in Asia, I think, back. So, uh, this is just an kind of the, the interesting information I think I found that of uh, Weibo, what the, the Chinese version of the Twitter, and I found the uh, uh, yeah, Consulate General of Japan in Shanghai. So the key point is that in Japan, the different um, professors have different ways to uh, sorting and collecting uh, the waste. Uh, this this is the case for the Tokyo and Kyoto. But actually, if you look at the kind of the district, uh, they have uh, also their own rules. But generally, they try to sort the waste into the like the plastic uh, waste, uh, and the uh, waste could be recycled. And and now there are also the similar discussion in China, like. Uh, Shanghai just uh, yeah promoted that uh, his version to uh, sort their waste in four categories, but aging something like it. So uh, I just want to emphasize that Sport told me that this kind of center basically is to uh, discuss about the urban metabolism focus on the city level. But based on my learning experience in Japan, I think that the role of the, the central government it's very important to promote this kind of agenda. So I just want to uh, use this kind of the, the opportunity to give you some information about Japan. This is the past background of Japan. So in 2000, uh, Japan just passed a basic act. There's a law about the establishing of some material cycle society. So this term, the, the Sound Material Cycle Society, you could just look at it as the Japanese version of the circuit economy. So if you search the, the circuit economy practice in Japan, then you can have a um, case like this. And so since 2003, Japan has introduced the material flow maps based in indicators uh, in environmental plans to monitor the progress uh, of the whole society promote to that the kind of the, uh, waste management and uh, resource recycling and to promote to the recycling society. So in this talk I just want to uh, just briefly introduce that how did uh, Japan come through the challenge of the waste management because this law and this practice are originally from the, the kind of management, waste <coughs> management, but later it's extended to other policy uh, issues. So I just want to show this kind of historical change. Let me think about what is the challenge uh, of the waste management and what is the new challenge after that. And so this is kind of the timeline. So in 2000, uh, they just passed uh, this law. And after that, the Japanese government uh, will produce this kind of the fundamental plan every five years. So this, I think this is kind of the, the very important equipment uh, 
you have to check in to realize that it all is not the uh, sum material side of society. And now it's just to the launch this kind of five year financial plan. Actually, they will monitor the progress annually and report to the Congress. So, and uh, so then I just think up the highlights from their document. So, if you find that there's significant change of this kind of high level of priority uh, during the global <coughs> fundamental plans. So, in 2003, they still emphasized the challenge around waste management, although the Japan already started to fight for waste management like since the late 1970s. And, and then they also emphasized the, the EPR, so Extended Producer Responsibility, uh, at that uh, time. So in 2008, they emphasized the waste management issue, but also the low carbon perspective. So just after the Kyoto article, so they think about they they already, they already set some target in the waste management set, segment uh, to reduce the carbon emission. So at that time, the low carbon issue is the hot topic. In 2013, uh, Japan access the resource security. So if you think about the rare element resource, the class, just have this, this kind of variation during that time. So Japan access that we need to consider the waste management uh, to promote the resource security for the society. That basically means the urban mining issue. And they also uh, highlight the two R promotion, so that means reduce and reuse. I will introduce a little bit later. And the most uh, recent fundamental plan, so just last year, they emphasized the vitality uh, and the uh, disaster response, and also about the kind of the national program uh, to the international SDGs in progress. Uh, so at first, I'm not a Japanese. So this kind of interpretation is just uh, from my personal opinion, but I think it's still helpful uh, to provide this kind of uh, the, 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 the interpretation from a foreigner, because we also the international uh, things here. So based on the, uh, the basic act, the, the important uh, issue is to uh, decided that we have this kind of recommended measures in this kind of order. So uh, we first promote the reduce uh, measures and then reuse, then recycle, and then heat recovery. And the last one is the safe final disposal. Yes, yeah, so I read some papers from other uh, from the uh, researchers of other uh, domains. They usually criticize that the circuit economy or the uh, closing loop uh, implementation just focus on the uh, recycling process. But I just want to say that at least in Japan, uh, in 2000, they already emphasized that reduce, reduce is more important than recycling and the, the, the heat recovery. And another highlight that they designed the indicated amount of the circuit economy in three dimensions. So from the inflows, the kind of the cyclic flows, and also outflows. So they provide different perspectives to like the look the demand of the achievement of the, the whole society. And the third was they emphasize the, the importance uh, or if you say that it's going to challenge about the construction waste and industry waste. It's not just a domestic household waste issue. And last one, and the key point is that they also emphasize that to successfully implement this kind of fundamental plan, we need uh, clearly define the, the role of the government, consumers, NGO, practitioners, local communities, and also make a good partnership. So after five years, so the second financial plan, mm. that kind of the change happened. First, they separate consider the construction materials. This is, I think, is also a useful suggestion for China because we also have a lot of 
after the child from the construction of waste. Uh, and they also set the greenhouse gas emission reduction target in the waste management sector. They also emphasize that uh, to launch the kind of international comparison, uh, basically based on the, the, the indicator. Yeah. Uh, this is also an interesting finding. Uh, actually, the series uh, regularly did the, the kind of uh, survey and to mark the, the, the consumer's behaviors change. This, uh, we already acknowledge that the reduced, reduced perspective is very important to shift the, uh, the circular economy, but they are also strongly linked to the consumer's behavior. And we cannot force the, the, the consumers to do this or that, but we all know that a, a lot of consumers actually they, uh, they have some kind of environmental awareness. They know that what is good, what is bad, but do they really do like that way? There's always a challenge part, right? So they use the survey tool to monitor the, the kind of the progress of the uh, consumer's behavior change. This is really kind of feedback to like the efforts what, which could be done by NGO, NPO, or also other partners to promote the, the kind of transitions of the, the consumer's behavior. They also set the waste the air reduction target. Yeah. And anyway, they also emphasize the business model. So <clears throat> then the time just uh, to get shift to the third element. Yeah. The, the, so from the very beginning in 2000, they just kind of the, the general law about the the sun uh, society, but uh, after that, they still improve this kind of uh, regulations on specific ones, like the e-waste or SO, packed materials, and food waste. And later, as the, the kind of two of strategy, they promote uh, kind of the effort to reduce the food loss and also promote a lot of kind of uh, products use as well. And they also emphasize that the environmental education is very important to achieve the goal. So this is also the kind of the, I think the important feature. Because this is actually this is five year fundamental plan. It's not just asking people to have a history. They can see for the next generation. They also consider the, the, the kind of the consumer behavior in the long time. So application is also very important. And they place the, uh, the, the, the earthquake in 2011, so disaster waste kind of a kind of upcoming challenge in Japan. So they emphasize that to increase the treatment capacity of the disaster waste. So this is also uh, a new challenge in Japan. So the recent one, mm, yeah, fourth fundamental and the interesting information is that they emphasize the linkage between the waste management and the uh, social organization, especially to promote this kind of regional circular uh, communities. And they also emphasize the life cycle resource circulation. This basically to comply with the, the targets uh, of the SDG number third, because they have several the, the kind of target from the consumption phase. They also passed a new law about the promotion of the consumer education to cultivate the responsible consumer civil society. And I think they, they have done a lot of things to promote this. And they also try to build a kind of Exit disaster waste treatment systems. So, not just to uh, treat the disaster waste, but also try to prevent it and to improve this kind of the integrated planning and the balance. And at this plan, they also emphasize the ICT and the Internet of the Things application. Uh, what this kind of smart strategy uh, technology can have the waste management and the uh, resource recycling and reuse. So, 
uh, in brief, I think that uh, in these fundamental plans, there are three types of the indicators uh, that have the governor on the chip head. First is the economy wide material flow indicators. So they have the actually the, the consistent way in the EU. So this is not new thing. But the things that they emphasize that uh, to monitor the progress from the three aspects of the material flows from the the inflows, uh, cycle flows, and outflows that I introduced before. The second one is that this is not enough. It's like the magic talk out of the, the domestic material consumption or, or the uh, domestic material input. That's just found the, the general indicator at the national level. Uh, actually, like the, the companies or the consumers don't know that. Uh, their kind of behaviors or their, their actions can uh, how much uh, help the, uh, the, 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 the country to achieve this uh, general goal. So we need to monitor the improvement at the more detailed level. Like, can we provide this kind of monitoring progress at the uh, sectoral level or even at the company level? So that could be really helpful. This could promote the kind of the, the, the positive feedback. The last one is just to get back to the effort itself to reach the owners. This is just a kind of better information about the company wide material and pages. I guess maybe most of the audience will know that. That's right. Uh, this uh, a proof result about the kind of historical change uh, of the material input in Japan. Because the their uh, kind of distinct feature of the problems in Japan and in the EU is that Japan also emphasize the the performance in the inflows. So that means they also monitor the like the direct material input or the material input in the raw material material. This is kind of the historical change. And we look at the different performance and different sectors that you find in the hotspots as well. Uh, this is just a kind of the, the brief, uh, briefly summary of the material flow of Japan and they regularly published these uh, kind of the figures in the, the report of the Ministry of the Environment every five years. Uh, so, yeah, but unfortunately not English version every time. So I just This is the new target in the fourth fundamental plan and also includes some information of the historical change and the achievements. So uh, from the inflow side, they emphasize the resource productivity and they set their goals. And for the cyclic uh, flows, they provide two indicators. One is the cyclic use rate and also this cycling rate as well. And at the, the outflow perspective, yeah, we emphasize that the funds also amount because there are very limited place in Japan to deal with this kind of the, the land viewing. So they actually they have the very high priority to uh, reduce the waste amount. Uh, okay, as the last slide, I just want to uh, briefly to introduce our critical thinking about the indicators of resource efficiency. At the, the first speaker, Professor Trump mentioned that uh, we need to think about the different function and the link to different type flows. Actually, we share the similar thinking. So if we look at the now the kind of international agreement about the uh, monitoring of the resource efficiency, they maybe talk about the direct Source abuse and, and also the monetary output as a kind of the uh, new later. So basically, we have a lot of agreement at this stage, uh, including the direct use and indirect use. But actually, we need to think about uh, like the environmental or 
large the impact of the resource use, where to extend these kind of indicators. We also need to think about the different uh, performance at different functions uh, or at different stage to be included in this kind of uh, the systems. So, yeah, this kind of uh, the work we are trying to understand it. The last one is uh, not much of the news. Uh, so, I'll, I'm now working at the University of Victoria, so we hopefully launch a new uh, industrial college master program in 2020. Uh, I with, uh, and with your friends or students have been interested, they are going to share this information. Yeah, this is just the first time uh, we took uh, the photo from our campus. Uh, it's a lovely place.